In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to track your Shopify dropshipping profits and automate the entire process using a Shopify app called True Profit. Now, why would you actually want to track all of your Shopify dropshipping profits? Well, if you just have a look at this graphic on the screen, firstly, you are going to want to track your Shopify dropshipping store's revenue so that you can see if it's decreasing. And if it is decreasing, you can change your strategy or you can see that it is increasing so that you know that the strategies and marketing tactics that you're using are actually working. Now, secondly, you're of course going to want to track all of your expenses so you can know how much profit you're actually making from the revenue you're bringing in. And when it comes to Shopify dropshipping, there are a number of different expenses that you need to track. So firstly, you have your cost of goods. So this is going to be your supplier. This could be CJ Dropshipping or AliExpress, or perhaps you're using multiple different suppliers on your store. So you're going to have to track the cost of goods from multiple different suppliers. You also have your ad platforms. So you could be using Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Google ads, and testing multiple different ad platforms at once on one store. So again, you're going to have to go and track all of these expenses. You have your Shopify apps. So this could be an app like DSs that you use to fulfill your orders, or maybe an email marketing app like Klaviyo. Then you have your fees. So this is going to be things like Stripe fees, Shopify fees, and things like that. And then I've just put in virtual assistants. So if you're using somebody to help you with customer service and things like that. So there are a lot of expenses that you need to track when it comes to Shopify dropshipping. And if you're putting all of this data manually into a spreadsheet, the hours can quickly rack up. And I know this from experience, you can easily start to spend 15 to 20 hours per month if you're getting a high volume amount of orders, just on putting all of this data into a spreadsheet. So it's much easier to just go and automate the process. And like I say, I'm going to be showing you how to use the True Profit Shopify app to do this. So we'll leave a link in the description to the True Profit app. Now, why should you actually use the True Profit app? Well, you can easily connect it to your Shopify store to start tracking your revenue. And you can also easily connect it to your products to start tracking your cost of goods, as well as all of the different ad platforms that you might be using, such as Facebook ads and Google ads. You can connect True Profit to all of these different ad platforms. And that way you can start tracking all of your revenue and expenses, and you can easily see a quick snapshot of your profit. So like I say, this is going to be the best app that you can use to start tracking your Shopify dropshipping profits. So we'll leave a link in the description to True Profit. And from here, you can click on Get True Profit and you will be brought over to the Shopify app. Now, if we scroll down, you can see that True Profit starts at $25 per month. But like I say, if you're doing over 50 orders per month on your Shopify dropshipping store, you can easily spend over 15 hours per month entering all of your revenue and expenses into a spreadsheet. So if you value your time at more than even $2 an hour, then this is well worth the investment and you can get a seven day free trial. And if we scroll down, you can see that they've got lots of five star reviews. So it's a really great app when it comes to tracking profits. And they do also have a mobile app that I will be showing you how to use so that you can go and track your profits on the go as well. So like I said, we'll leave a link in the description to True Profits. And from here, you are just going to click on Add App. You will then be brought over to your Shopify store and you can click on Install App. And then from here, you will be prompted to choose your True Profit plan. So you can have a look at the different plans and compare them. Just bear in mind that with the ad account platforms, if you start with the basic plan, you can only connect one account. So maybe if you're just starting out and you're just running Facebook ads, you could start with the basic plan. I am going to go for the enterprise plan. So I'm going to click on choose plan. And then you are going to simply approve the plan. From here, you can start setting up True Profit to track your Shopify dropshipping expenses. So we are going to click on let's get started. You will then be prompted to work out your estimated cost of goods. So in order to do this, I recommend to find your best selling product and work out your estimated cost of goods based on your best selling product. So here is my best selling product, which sells for $39.95. So then you can just do some simple maths, find out how much the product costs you, divide it by the amount that you sell it for. So $12 divided by $39.95 and then times that by 100 and you will get the percent value. So we can just round this to 30%. So we can come back into True Profit and I'm just going to bring this up to 30%.
then you can scroll down and you will see transaction fees. Now you will see that the fee amounts have already been entered in. So you can leave these as the default. However, if there's any payment gateways that you don't use, you can just go and enter in zero. Once you have done this, you can click on save and continue. You can then connect all of the previous data from your Shopify store. So all you're then going to do is click on start importing. Give it a few moments and then it should say, that's it, your store is now connected with True Profit. So you can click on go to my dashboard. Now, the next thing that you are going to want to do is connect your ad platforms as well. Now, there are multiple different ad platforms that you can connect to True Profit. So if we click on calculation, you will see all of these different ad platforms that you can connect. So we've got Facebook ads, Google ads, Bing, Snapchat, TikTok, and Pinterest. So all of the big ad platforms. I'm going to be showing you how to connect Facebook ads because that's probably the most popular ad platform, but they are all very simple to connect. So we are gonna click on Facebook ads. And then from here, you are gonna click on add Facebook account. You will then be brought over to Facebook, so you can log into your Facebook account. So I'm just gonna click on continue, and then it will say, what is True Profit allowed to do? So you're just going to toggle on manage ads for ad accounts and access your Facebook ads and related stats and then just click on done. It will then say you've now linked True Profit to Facebook, so just click on OK. You will then be brought back to the True Profit dashboard, and then you can scroll down and it will say manage ad accounts. So just go and choose the ad account associated with your store and make sure that it is ticked to active. Once you have done that, you can click on synchronize, and then it should say Facebook campaign insight has been synchronized. So now we can go back to our True Profit dashboard and click on dashboard. And now you can choose any date range that you want to track your profits for. So if I just go from the 1st of April last year, all the way through to the 30th of September, let's say for example, we can see that my revenue was $41,000, 862 orders. My total cost of goods and ad expenses was 31,000 and just under $32,000. And we can see the profit is just over $9,000. So this is a really great way to see a snapshot of how much profit you have made on your store. And as you can see, it will show you the profit by months as well. So you can see that I had a large spike here in August and also a fairly decent amount of profit in September. And if we also scroll down, you can see that we've got the breakdown of the expenses. So as you can see, we have the cost of goods here, we have the ad spend, we also have the shipping cost and the transaction fees. Now, if we scroll down, we can also see that we have some other very important statistics. So we can see that we have the average order value, the average order cost, the average order profit. You can also see your ad spend per order, and you can also see your purchase frequency and new customers per order. Now you can also see your ad spend in this time based on the ad platforms that you have connected. So you can see I've connected my Facebook ads account. So we can see that a large portion of the ad spend came from Facebook ads for this particular store. Now, if we scroll down, we can also go and have a look at some of the other expenses. For example, how much we have refunded customers. So like I say, on your dashboard, this is an amazing place to easily track all of those profits. And it was set up within a matter of minutes. I didn't have to go and manually enter all of this data into a spreadsheet and spend hours looking at my Shopify payments to see how much revenue came in, having a look at the cost of goods to see how much I sent to suppliers, having a look at the ad platforms to see how much I spent and work out how much I've actually made in profit. It's actually just gone and worked this out in a matter of minutes for me. And this will save you a massive amount of time for your own Shopify dropshipping stores when it comes to tracking profits. Now, I do want to show you a few other things when it comes to true profit. So if we click on dashboard, you can also go to product analytics. And from here, it will show you the revenue that has been brought in on each particular product on your store and how much profit you've actually made based on those products. So as you can see, this is my best selling product. And then I have some other upsell products. So I can see which products have been performing well as upsells as well. So this will really help you when you are testing products to see which products are performing well on your store and which ones that you can stop testing. As you can see, this has been a really great product for me and it's brought in a large amount of profit on this particular store. You can also go to the dashboard and click on customer analytics. And from here, there are other important things that you can see. 
such as your customer lifetime value. So you can see my customer's lifetime value is $50. And this is something that you want to bump up as high as possible. And you can also see your customer acquisition cost. Now you can also go to the dashboard and click on P and L report. And from here, you can create a simple profit and loss report with all of the data points broken down. Now you can do this by month, by week, by day. And as we can see on the side, you can see it's got gross sales, discounts, refunds, revenue, cost of goods, shipping cost, transaction fees. So all of the important data points, you've also got the total ad spend and it breaks it down by platform. So when you actually come to pay your taxes, if you have an accountant who's doing it all for you, you can simply just go and export this to an Excel or a CSV file, and you can send this to your accountant. So this makes everything super easy for them when it comes to paying your taxes on your store. And this is another great benefit of using the True Profit app, because this is gonna cause you way less headaches when it comes to actually paying taxes for your store. Now you can edit any of your expenses using True Profit at any time. So let's say you wanted to edit your product costs. You can go to calculation and click on product cost. And from here, you can actually go and change your cost of goods for any of your products manually. So I know I set up the estimated cost of goods rate as a percentage. However, if you do scroll down, you will see all of the products on your store and you can go and edit any of the cost of goods manually. So for example, if I just go and find this product, the Golf Training Mat Pro, where it says US 15, I can just go and change this. And let's say it was costing me $11. I can go and change it to that and I can click on save. So now that I have done that, you can go and change these for all of your products because it might not necessarily be that percentage for every single one of your products. So you can go and enter in this manually so you can work out your exact cost of goods for each of your products that you are selling on your store. So this is a really great way to make sure that the True Profit app is super accurate by entering in the exact cost of goods for all of the products that you are selling on your Shopify dropshipping store. So I definitely recommend to come in here and change all of these to make sure that the cost of goods is accurate so that you are tracking all of your expenses correctly. Now, if we go back to the top, we can go to calculation. You can also go to order cost and you will see all of the orders on your store in a snapshot here as well. So you can see how much profit you're making on each order. So that's another really great thing that you can look at. You can go to calculation, you can go to shipping costs and True Profit will basically pick up your shipping rates from your Shopify store. So that is how it will work out the shipping costs. However, you can go and add an extra integration if you are using a different type of shipping. So you can see we've got ShipStation, Shippo and other apps that you can go and integrate into True Profit. However, the shipping cost is pretty easy to set up because like I say, it takes it directly from the shipping rates on your Shopify store. If we go to calculation again, we can go to transaction fees and you can go and change any of these transaction fees at any point. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you stop using one of these payment gateways, you can just go and change this to zero. Now, one last thing that I do want to show you is how to use the True Profit mobile app so that you can track your Shopify dropshipping profits on the go. So you can just head to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, depending on the device that you have, and just download the True Profit mobile app. Then from your True Profit dashboard, you are gonna click on the dots in the corner and you will see your account. Now, if you don't have an account, you can click on create account and you can just go and enter in your email address and choose a password to create a True Profit account. Then you are gonna click on QR mobile login code, and then you can open the True Profit mobile app on your device. And then from here, you can click on sign in with QR code. You can then simply scan the QR code on your screen, and then you should be logged in to your True Profit mobile app. Once you are logged in to the True Profit mobile app, you will see your Shopify dropshipping store's name up the top. And then you can go and choose a date range where you want to track your profits. So I'm gonna click on where it says today. I'm gonna to go to custom. I'm gonna set the start date to the 1st of May, 2022. So let's just choose that. And then we can choose the end date. So I'm gonna go and choose September, 2022. So let's just go all the way to September the 30th and click on okay. And then you can simply hit apply. It will then show you the revenue and profits for that date range. 
So up the top, you will see your revenue, you will see your net profit, and you will see your total cost of all your expenses. So you can see a snapshot of your cost of goods, your shipping cost, your transaction fees, your ad spend. You can also see the order summary, the ad spend, and you can also go and have a look at all of the different months based on that date range to see the revenue that you brought in, the ad spend, and the net profit. So this is a really handy app to have when you're on the go and you want to check your Shopify dropshipping profits. Maybe you want to check your store whilst you're traveling or you're busy. So you can come into the True Profit app and you can see a snapshot of the profits that you have made based on a particular date. So you can go today, yesterday, last seven days, last 30 days, and so on. And you can also go into the top right-hand corner and change the currency if you do want to change the currency. So that is how you can use the True Profit mobile app to track your Shopify dropshipping profits on the go. So there you have it. That is how you can start tracking your Shopify dropshipping profits and automate the entire process using the True Profit Shopify app. I will leave a link in the description to True Profit so you can check out the app for yourself. And if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.